USC 302 just finished and wrapped up and it was the worst pay-per-view card of the year, worse than the Canada card, so that's saying something. Uh, we're just going to do a quick recap of what went on, what went down. So here's to the fighters, the fans and the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears and the fame. And here's to as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show. In the first fight, it was Mitch Raposa versus Andre Lima. Andre Lima is still a little cheat grabbing the fence, doing all the kind of eye pokes that he was doing in the Igor Severino fight. Um... And uh, it was a weird split decision win for Lima. He dominated with leg kicks and single shots, mostly reposted, danced around a lot, didn't really let his hands go. And then we move on to Eileen Perez versus Jocelyn Edwards. Uh, the Eileen Perez won by decision. Uh, there was a lot of reversing and grappling. Not much happened in the fight. And then it went to decision. Perez won. And then she started twerking, tried to get Edwards to twerk. Wasn't really the... The time or place for it no one wanted to see it uh then we went on to the next daily prelim which was mickey gal versus basal affairs uh affairs came out looking to land bombs uh, mickey gal got back into the fight uh, some good exchanges from mickey gal a uh, bit of uh, mickey gal nutted up and really went for it so happy to see that it was a good fight overall nothing great but it was the fairly decent to end off uh, and cap off the early prelims. Then we had uh, Roe versus Matthews. That went to decision. Uh, Grant Dawson just mauled and uh, wrestle-fucked Selecki, uh, won the decision. Almeida, surprisingly, got their first uh, submission finish of the night uh, in round one, which was, I think, surprised everyone. He went straight in with the wrestling, got on top of the fat Romanov, who didn't do anything, didn't really do anything, had nothing to give. He couldn't get off his fat ass and ended up getting submitted. Uh, then we had Almeida versus Kopilov. Kopilov took it to decision and, and won the fight. Um, yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I think he was just, uh, what's the word? He, he was just to add that little bit more experience. He did start tiring it in, in the end of the third and Almeida started pouring it on a little bit, but he clinched the decision win. Then we move on to the main event and we had Randy Brown versus uh, uh, Ilyu Zaleski Dos Santos. Uh, Randy Brown took the decision. It was just, uh, he managed to stay on the outside. Uh, Dos Santos really tried. He went for it in the last round, uh, tried to get the takedown and work. Uh, well, he, he got the takedown and he jumped straight into the submission, try and get the neck. He didn't try go for position over submission. He went for submission over position. But it didn't work. It was a bit too little, too late. Uh, Price, v uh, Nico Price versus Alex Morano uh, was the next fight. Don't know what this was doing on the main card. It didn't deserve to be on the main card. Nico Price was coming off two losses. Absolute joke of a fight. Uh, it was like two two uncles at a barbecue, pissed up, fighting. It was a joke. Uh, they had Donald Trump in the building watching this absolute joke of a fight. But um, Nico Price took the decision and then we move on to Kevin Holland who saved the pay-per-view temporarily saved the, the pay-per-view by uh, getting a submission in round one and breaking Mikhail Oleksiak's arm snapped it and Abe Dean just cut the fight off um, he, he stopped the fight uh, due to a technical submission uh, then we moved on to uh, th this was the temporarily very temporarily uh, savior of the of the card and i thought right this is where the card picks up we move on to strickland versus costa and on paper it, it sounds like a great fight strickland said it was going to be a war it was not a war it was just more of strickland backing up costa jabbing his way to victory um he put so much pressure on costa he couldn't really uh, get anything off. Costa did well in the first opening round of landing leg kicks, but then Strickland started checking the kicks, which um, started fucking up Costa's leg more than it was uh, more than it was doing any damage to Strickland. Uh, so one of his attacks was just completely mute. He couldn't get any head kicks off or body kicks throughout the fight due to being backed up constantly by Strickland, and that's kind of how the, the fight played out. Some little exchanges here and there from Costa, but nothing significant. And then we move on to the final fight of the night. The main event of the night, Islam Makachev versus Dustin Poirier. And it was it was a, a disappointing fight. It was just um, Poirier trying to work uh, his boxing. 
Uh, he was told to stay. He got taken down in the first round. Then in the second round, his coaches told him to stay in the middle of the octagon. Uh, don't go to the cage. And he managed to stay on his feet. His takedown defense was pretty good in, in the in the second round. Eventually, though, Islam just kept spamming takedowns, eventually got some takedowns. He kept going to the tie clinch, which was a bit of... Uh, it wasn't great for Islam using the tie clinch because he didn't get anything off. Dustin Manny managed to use his boxing and go to the body in the tie clinch. And, um, yeah, don't know why Islam went to the tie clinch a few times in the fight and just ended up getting uh, uh, pelted to the body by Dustin. Dustin really couldn't get his, any effective striking off due to Islam's wrestling. Um, Any time that he was... He was he was very conscious of, of his striking. It's, it felt like he couldn't really commit to the striking that well because of um, Islam's wrestling. Uh, however, he did well in the fight. Like I say, the takedown defense was there. Uh, ultimately, though, he kept getting taken down. He did manage to cut Islam open at one point. In the, he's got a big cut on his forehead. Uh, he was bleeding. Um, temporarily thought that he might get something off, but he didn't. And in the final round... Uh, Islam sinks a DOS choke in and puts, well, Dustin taps, but uh, Dustin actually went to sleep before uh, the the ref stopped the fight. So that's kind of much how UFC 302 went. And it was probably the worst pay-per-view card of the year. Uh, worse than the Canadian card, absolutely appalling. Not worth watching. If you haven't watched it and you're just watching uh, this on the catch-up, don't watch the catch-up. It's not worth bothering with. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.